Hey guys, Toad here with my mushroom head. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we're going to be going to the Temple of Enlightenment. So the other day we did the quest, the Temple of Forgetfulness, which we were able to untrain our skills. And this is the place you go if you want to spec your skills. And then there's also another place I can uh, show in another video where you can completely respec your character and train and unspec everything all at one time at Ashlon Skull Castle. But this is the other version of it where you just do it manually with the gems. So what we're going to want to do is the same thing we did in the other video where we got the ginseng. So you're going to want to go to a spell component seller and just buy a couple stacks of ginseng. And then we're going to head over to the town network. So like I was saying in the last video when we unspec stuff, if you get if you want to change like um, like strength to focus, you would get the lowering focus gem. Sorry, you would get the lowering strength gem from the Temple of Forgetfulness. And then the second part of it, you go to the Temple of Enlightenment and get the other half of the gem of raising focus. So then you can switch your focus. Uh, so you can switch your strength to your focus. So what we're going to want to do is go to Grudum, which is West uh, Wing in Town Network. And then we're going to uh, Calabar, which is the second portal on the right hand side. And then you're going to want to run pretty much straight southwest. And we're going to be headed towards uh, the uh, Calabar settlement portals, which are at 74.8 south, 17.8 east. I got my coffee here. It's going to be a good day. Sun shining. I just wanted to thank everybody who uh, wished me uh, good health for uh, gain over COVID and everything. So pretty much there me my wife and I were, were pretty much good for COVID my son still has it but he's uh almost done his quarantine okay so you're gonna want to go into the land bridge Vila's portal and I'm supposed to be guessing which house is uh Lucas's which he's apparently a Vila his Vila's here so let's see okay finessed this one is Diabels. You know, I, I know your name off uh, YouTube, but I don't know your name in game, Lucas. So let's see. I'm going to guess that yours is. I'm going to guess that you are SMC. I'm going to guess that this is your your Vila down here. So let me know in the comments if I'm right. Cool. OK, so what we want to do is run uh, Northwest. I don't know the chords exactly of the where the head is, but it's pretty easy to get to. Um, let's see if I can find it on the map here. Oh yeah, it's on the it's on a Verundi tank map. So it's called the Temple of Enlightenment, and it's just pretty much straight northwest. But there's a little trick to how to get there. So I'll show you. So the chords of the temple are 84.5 south, 0, 0.0 east. Which is kind of funny because the Temple of Forgetfulness, I believe, is also 0, 0.0 something, east or west, I can't remember. I gotta go back and look at it, but it'd be funny if it was, say, the Forgetfulness one was at like 84.5 north and 0, 0.0 west. Okay, so you just keep running kind of west now. There's uh, this road here, and if you look on the overhead view, there's this corner right here, right? So the temple is down in this little groove. You can, if you have enough health, you can jump off this corner down there, which is the way I usually go, or you can run around and kind of go down this little ramp and then jump, which is a, not as far of a jump. I find it's almost safer to jump from this corner because you don't have a, as much of a chance to bounce, and bouncing is where you really hit, you know take a lot of damage so you can just jump right down straight here north or you can go around this little loop-de-doop Ooh, is that what I think it is a hori Matiker. I gotta kill that get a pelt I can make a robe That robe was like the go-to back in the day. Ah, uh, no pelt. Too bad. Okay, so just keep running around here. 
and then you're going to go down this little groove. And then eventually it'll lead to kind of a ledge where you can't run any further, which is right here. So this way, like I said, can be a little bit dicey because if you land in the wrong spot, you can bounce and take a lot of damage, but it is a lot shorter jump than up here. So just buff your bludge in your armor and then just kind of yeet it. So just going to want to do a full bar jump. Yeah, see, I think I'm going to hit the side of the mountain here. We'll see. Ooh, yeah, see, I got hit four times there, but not that much damage, but yeah. Okay, so let's heal up. So here's the temple uh, head, and the same thing as in the forgetfulness, you're just going to want to click on it until it says Kruath. So, Guardian of the Temple of Enlightenment tells you, bring me the essence of... Give me Kruath. I find it's easier just to click on the head and then just press R over and over. But don't go too fast, sometimes you can miss it, which I've done before. Like we got some bad luck today. Yanoi, Equin, Puish, Kuvash, Jashvak. Wow, usually it doesn't take this long. Let's keep going. There it is, Kruath. Okay, so now you want to go to your ginseng, your ginseng, and just kind of drop it on the nose. And then again, you get this book and this paper. You can just drop those. You don't need them. All right, and now we're just going to run all the way down. Stick to the right. Just keep hugging the right wall. And then eventually we'll reach a portal called Inner Sanctum. So you want to go there. It's literally the exact same dungeon as the Forgetfulness dungeon. And then in this main room, you got all the wards of uh, raising your attributes so i don't actually need to pick this up right now but you what you do is you double click that and then you'd find the forgetfulness uh attribute like gem and then you combine the two so you combine forgetting strength with raising focus and then you just double click it and it'll switch 10 points over and then in each one of these rooms you're going to have all your skills so i actually want to spec um fletching because I'm getting sick of carrying all these arrows around. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's see if I can grab the gem while I'm here. Fletching gem. I am spec healing, which I would love to keep, but I can only have so many skill specs, so I'm going to drop healing and pop fletching up there once I get some more. I think let's see what my timer's at. So three days I can get one more gem. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, I'm going to throw a little plug in here because I never say this, but if you enjoyed watching the video, please like and subscribe, and uh, yeah, leave a comment if you have any questions. And until next time, see you later.